Good morning my friends, it's the 24th, Wednesday the 24th of June um, and just to kind of answer some questions really a lot of people ask what I record on, I record on this little Olympus uh, 760 digital compact camera do all my videos on that, sound and vision it's uh, for an old Luddite like me it's borderline miracle territory to be honest <laughs> But a few people have asked, so that's that. People like uh, Chris Hotfirecaster and what have you, we've had conversations about guitars that I've owned. I found some photos. Four PRSs. Nice 22 fret custom. I'm glad to have owned them, but I don't really miss any of them. That was probably the nicest one to play. Uh, it's this classic 24. Really nice, actually. Really nice. Roger Giffen Stratocaster, one of the last guitars that he made before he went to work in the States. Another Roger Giffen Stratocaster. It's one of the very few guitars that I, I regret not having anymore. Gibson L1 reissued. Really beautiful, like a kind of like a baby J200 round hole arch top. Fantastic guitar. Uh, rubbish, it's that Giffen Stratocaster again. That's a nice guitar, uh, 86 early Strat Plus, really nice, very heavy, but uh, interesting guitar, original rolling out and all of that. Uh, Firebird 5 reissue, played uh, played many a tune in the wrong key on that, <laughs> big old neck. A um, couple of Japanese Telecasters, uh, 69 Thin Line and a Rosewood. Sometimes I still think that this is the best Telecaster I've ever owned. A Japanese 62 custom reissue. Really, really nice. Um, I still sort of quite hanker after after this 335 dot reissue. Replaced the black knob with gold ones and put keystone machines on. It's just a very handsome, handsome guitar. But uh, you know what? I'm really kind of thinking that if I had it, I'd still be playing the ones that I've got more. Uh, what I'm listening to at the moment is Laurie Lee's CD. Laurie Lee, you'll find her on... Uh, her channel is Cinderella Lifestyle. And I would go and, have a, go and have a listen to her. She is fantastic. And it's a great CD. Um, now... This seems to be a deal of conversation recently. My old Stratocaster, 1962 Strat, serial number 82004. Uh, is it a factory finish? When I bought it in 1969, it was this finish. The quality of the finish is extremely good. And I just don't believe that it was uh, anything other than factory done. Bonnie rates. 70s Strat, I know is brown and Nils, more interestingly and more appropriately Nils Lofgren 61 is a similar sort of colour to this but this will be of interest <coughs> that's what the original finish was a beautiful and when I say original I mean what this this brown started as that gorgeous uh, almost kind of SG-ish mahogany red wine red really really beautiful colour um, so factory finish or not I don't know but um, honestly I'm thinking probably yes uh, so just a few bits and pieces to answer some questions and back to playing sometime soon. And uh, toodaloo. Bye.